got a fun day going on here today, boy. <laughs> Very special day. I have my friend Paul Cooper from Sweden and Swix, the super dog bear hunter. They came over, they were hunting over here and had great results and spending a few days with us and uh, we're having a hike. We're up on the top of the summit here. So, uh, Paul, tell us about your uh, hunt and your trip. <laughs> and uh, had a great time. We stayed up in close to 100 mile house. Um, lots of bear there. We saw 19 bears in my, my group and Swix had a couple of really good runs. They ate some up and uh, yeah, it was perfect training for him. <laughs> yeah, and uh, last couple of days I stayed with you. It's been super, very, very good host and guide and showed me all this wonderful scenery and hikes and well, so it's, it's been a time of my life. It's been a pleasure yeah. having you, no doubt about it. Now Swix, he... Uh, when he found the bear, he was able to stay with him and, and hang in there, wasn't he? Yeah, he stayed. He had him at bay for uh, maybe 20 minutes, and then they walked on a bit, and he stopped. They stopped for a while again, and then uh, when I was trying to get in on the bay up, uh, it took uh, took. It went for a swim, so that's that was the first good yeah. job. So yeah, very yeah. pleased with that. Yeah. <laughs> he did good. Yeah. <laughs> Now they're humane hunting, they're doing good, lots of it is just bay up and uh, the bear goes ahead and swims away, so it's yeah. good. But uh, at the same time, uh, some actual hunt too, so yeah. Yeah. very good. And uh, I got to see the other boys that were with him, we had a good visit and uh, saw the brothers of Sphix and uh, we had uh, breakfast there and uh, four... Uh, Four uh, Norwegians, one uh, Jamsund, and very, very good uh, group of dogs. Beautiful uh, dogs. And all the boys were nice, really good fellas. Now, we uh, had another special day uh, yesterday. Paul uh, offered uh, to allow me to have the bloodline. And so uh, we took uh, Swix up to the clinic with Tekla and we were able to get a successful collection. So in the future, we'll have uh, some really good bear dogs. <laughs> so today we got them running with Tekla, with Mon, and with Kai. And uh, both Kai and Tekla would be good matches for him. He's really a beautiful dog to be around and work with up here. And. Uh, Paul has got him so focused on bear right now that uh, we're keeping him close to us because uh, we're crossing through bear country. And last night we were up on the hill and he was ready to hunt already. So uh, we're keeping him close. And what do you uh, what do you notice about the Canadian dogs uh, compared to say the the Sweden dogs? Well, I'll say it's pretty much the same. Uh, but you've done a you're doing a great fantastic job uh, getting them to stay with you and very interesting work and I'm very impressed yeah. and it's a, a little different work uh, because uh, on, your, on your end you need them to go yeah and you exactly. need them to stay on the trip yeah so we're a bit scared of uh, training the stay with you that's right training, but it, it absolutely would work but I wouldn't dare taking the risk that's right, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, uh, that's uh, that's what we're having some fun today because uh, we have both styles of Alcons out here. We have Swix, he, he would go immediately and his whole life, Paul has got him so that when he puts him on the scent, he goes. And he's, he's, he's geared to stay on that scent and uh, not to come back till he's got the bear stopped. And whereas my guys, of course, I have them geared to wait. And so they hike with me and wait. No, uh, Swix wouldn't wait. <laughs> the other night he was he was ready to go. He was ready, boy. Yeah, but he was sure a super dog yesterday at the clinic there. Everybody was so impressed with him. He's such a beautiful fella and did such a good job. 
Now tell us a little more, uh, Paul, about uh, when you're hunting over there. Uh, you were talking to me uh, lots about the, the lineages and uh, keeping them focused on the bear versus bear and moose. <coughs> yeah, the, the, we, the, the moose population is so much bigger than uh, the bear population, so we try to keep them only on, on bear. Some people want to have them on both, but it's much easier if they're pure bear line, pure bear interest, because then you know what you're hunting. So. Yeah. So, the, but that's a that's a choice you'll make as a <laughs> as a owner. That's it. Yeah. And uh, once you've got him, and you were telling me some of the things to get him geared into that scent, you uh, will sometimes take a paw. Yeah. Uh, drag a paw along. Paw or a piece of the skin. Yeah, a piece of the hide and make drag a it track. And, yeah, as a little tiny guy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Just brand new little yeah. fella. And then when they're before they even when they before they even eight weeks, they get to play with a piece from a piece of fur. Yep. Uh, just to have, just to start liking it. You bet. Yep. And you were also saying that to keep him out of the moose, when he when he's in a moose scent, you, you take him away. Yeah, I say uh, no. Discourage yeah. a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. And just keep him roll only on the bear yeah. for the bear dogs. Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, the other thing is, you were talking about uh, um, you you would uh, get him to bay him up, but at some point he has to be on a hunt to get the satisfaction yeah. of the end result, yeah, at least the reward. Once, yeah. You bet. And uh, now, tell us a little bit about the background of the parents. You were telling me earlier about Gucci and the uh, yeah. other uh, big fella. So his his mother is um, Brecca Collins Gucci. She's uh, probably one of the best bear dogs around ever and uh, yeah so she's she's magic isn't that and, something? and her father is, is, is his name is Trix and he's he was the same absolutely crazy good so and, and on his father's side uh, there's two generations of pure bear dogs as well so it's it's a rarely good good bloodline yes yeah. Now the boys that you traveled with, they had the brothers, mm. and uh, phenomenal for you to be able to do yeah. that, eh? Yeah. Amazing. Now the breeder that you got them from, he had come a few years earlier. Yeah, so he know, knew what we were going, yeah. going for. Yeah. And you found that uh, the ability for that week to be able to have that exposure is is quite profound uh, for the young absolutely. dogs. Absolutely, they never get that many contacts uh, at home. Right. So yeah. it's a good start. The right. terrain there was very hard for them. Yes. Because of them being a bit small, a lot of windfalls, but but it, and it was still a really good trip. Yeah. Really developing. And then uh, he's had a nice uh, he's had a nice time just hanging out with these guys yeah. this last couple of days. It's been good for him. Really good. He's been a, an enjoyable fella to have around. Really nice. Learning some social skills. <laughs> yes, he's very good. He was social to begin with, but uh, he was a hunter. Yeah. Yeah, well, we are so excited about that. Uh, we want to thank you for coming and making sure that we had a chance to use his blood. Thank you for that having us. So good, I'll tell you. So we're looking forward to those. Yeah. Uh, it'll be really, really good. Yeah. We picked out a couple of females that we can hopefully get a litter or two out of it keep some of the back. We'll keep some of his daughters and uh, maybe one of his sons and uh, have a really, really direct line. And like you said, Paul has said that what I should have is have one lineage that is geared always to bear and always breed to the bear dogs. And that dog would uh, be really good at finding wounded bear and finding bear and uh, work for the wardens to find them in the campgrounds and and to be able to hike in bear region and that dog would alert you right away that there's a bear in the area. So it'd be very, very good that way. Swix the other night, like last night, the, the minute we got on that, close to that scent, he was, he was like a light bulb went off, just alive. So yeah, they'd be really good for that. And then keep the moose dogs in another lineage and keep the hiking dogs in another line. So yeah, 
one of the things that you could see the way I train these guys to hang out is they, they might turn back to me before they get to the bear. Yeah, that's a risk anyway. Yeah. And the, it's potential. Mm -hmm. Especially Mon. He hates to leave me. <laughs> <laughs> he would go, but he would, uh, he might turn back yeah. before Swix. But if Swix is there, you might hunt right beside him. Might. Yeah, well, that's good. Well, tomorrow we go to the airport, and uh, so we're having a fun day today, and just uh, up exploring around today, giving the dogs a good stretch, and I wanted to thank you for coming up today. It's been a fun day. So, yeah, I'll probably uh, call her a video. That's a pretty good video. <laughs> thank you. Uh,